Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. And as for any thoughts that would pull you away from the breath, you let them go. The thoughts that would help you stay with the breath, you hung, hang on to them for the time being. This way you can develop a path. If you let go too fast, the path doesn't have a chance to develop. This is why the Buddha said discernment is a very important part of the practice. Seeing what it is that you're carrying around that you don't need to carry around, you let it go. But there's some things you do have to hold on to, so you learn how to distinguish the difference. For example, right now as you're meditating on the breath, anything that's going to pull you away, just let it go, let it go. But hold on tight to the breath. This is why we have a refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. We need something to hold on to until we can get over to safety, because otherwise our greed, aversion, and delusion will just wash us down the river. We don't have anything to hold on to unless we've got a good raft to take us over. So this is the raft. We practice generosity, we practice virtue, and we meditate. This is something to hold on to, because otherwise the world is going to wash us away. It's going to wash our bodies away anyhow, but we have to watch out make sure it doesn't wash our goodness or wash our virtue away. Make sure it doesn't wash away our chance for true happiness. So you've got to hold on to the principles of the Dharma. You've got to hold on to things that really will provide you with safety. As for everything else, you can let it go. Now, some people want to let go right from the beginning. Well, there's that story that one of the Johns in Thailand tells him, a person coming home from the market, he's carrying a banana. And they ask him, okay, what are you carrying the banana for? He says, I want to eat it. Okay, are you going to eat the peel too? No. Then why are you carrying the peel? How are you going to answer? Well, the answer is, well, the time hasn't come yet to let go of the peel, to throw the peel away. You need the peel to make sure that you don't turn the banana into mush in your hands and it doesn't spoil. So the peel is something important. As long as you aren't ready to eat it yet, when the time comes to eat it, then you can throw the peel away. It's the same with our practice. There will come a time where you don't need the path anymore, but as long as you need it, you have to hold on. As for anything else, just try, think of it as unnecessary baggage. Another way of thinking of this is going on a camping trip. When you go on a camping trip, you don't want to take too much, because then you just weigh down. You can't walk very far. But if you take too little, you starve. So you have to figure out, what can you take? And it's good to have the discernment. One, to know what to take and what not to take, and two, discernment on how to take advantage of what you've got around you there in the forest, which plants you can eat, which plants you can't eat, where you can rest, where you can't rest, what animals are safe, what animals are not safe. That kind of knowledge is going to help you. So you need to hold on to your discernment. And the discernment starts with very simple things like this. Sometimes we think about discernment and wisdom as something really far away, but it's not. It's more knowing which parts of the mind you can trust and have to hold and can hold on to, and which ones you can't trust, cannot trust, and have to let go. Knowing which things are your responsibility and which things are not. Sorting out your mind, that's your responsibility. And then you hold on to the things that really are worthwhile. And that way you find that as you get more and more skilled, you get a better and better sense of what's reliable and what's not, and you can let go of more and more burdens. It's like going, again, going into the forest. When you know how to make a fire without matches, you don't have to take matches with you. If you know how to make a shelter without carrying a tent, you don't have to carry a tent. Things just get lighter and lighter the more discernment you have. So try to develop this quality of discernment, seeing from the very beginning what's your responsibility, what's not, what's weighing you down unnecessarily, what you can let go of, and what things you have to hold on to in the meantime. When you can make those distinctions, you find that the mind gains a lot of strength, because it's not wear, wearing itself out, carrying unnecessary burdens around. To try to develop this quality of discernment, you find that the mind will get stronger and stronger. And when it's stronger like this, then it's more able to do the right thing, say the right thing, think the right thing. It's not feeling so victimized. It's not feeling so weighed down. It's not wearing itself out unnecessarily. This is how discernment gives us strength.